Looking for this truck you see right here after authorities say it and other equipment were stolen from a Savannah restaurant's property Saturday night. The Shell House restaurant has been trying to rebuild after a fire forced them to close nearly a year ago. The owner says this latest theft is just another setback standing in the way of the beloved seafood restaurant reopening its doors. Lindsay Stanger joins us now from the parking lot of the Shell House Seafood Restaurant. And Lindsay, how long do they think that this delay is going to cause them to, you know, possibly reopen in the future? Yeah, Madeline, so I spoke to the Shell House owner today and he says, frankly, he doesn't know how long this setback or if it will even set them back at all. But what he is sure of is he is ready to get back into that kitchen and start serving Savannah again. It's been a grueling process here. Here at the Shell House restaurant, owner Lance Garrett and his team of contractors have been pushing to reopen the beloved seafood restaurant for a better half of a year now. It's been a slow start. Uh, after the inspections, it's getting the equipment in and getting all your subs lined up. And so everything has, has come full circle and we're in the finishing stages now. A slow start and what seems to be a slower end. The final stages of construction were brought to a halt this weekend after Garrett says a trailer belonging to the HVAC company, Southern Chill, was stolen from the construction site. So when I got here, that's the first thing I noticed was those trailers were gone. The owner of Southern Chill says it was clear that this was no mistake. The locks on site were broken off. I spoke with the owner of the trailer who says that there was anywhere from $7,000 to $10,000 worth of equipment in the trailer and that they're working with the police to narrow down where it could be. As for the future of Shell House Restaurant. Chalk it up to another setback, but we will persevere. I have not yet been able to touch base with Chatham County Police about where they are in that investigation, but I did speak with the owner of the trailer who hopes to get everything back as soon as possible. Live in Chatham County, Lindsay Stanger, WTOC News.